and skate the crowd going for the two interviews, and up to the front, making fun of the fancy dress uniform for the police. Just trying to bring some comedy to the whole event, you know, because these things can get very tense. So, yes, absolutely. Oh, just, uh, you know, so. So, what do you think? Uh, can I ask you a question on camera? Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm not camera shy. <laughs> not at all. Uh, so, what do you think of uh, of like the protest here? What's going on? Well, I've not seen any single act of violence, Lawrence. I've just seen people standing up for humanity and uh, voicing their um, discontentment with the supposed leaders of us. They're not my leaders. They're not your leaders, but they think they're running the world. But I don't believe they are. They just sad, lonely people who like control and power and money. That's it. And uh, you, I, I was looking uh, online about the experience you had. That was the worst experience of my life. I was scared and traumatized and uh, they really treated me quite badly. And 21 hours, a full day's prison sentence for not showing your ID quickly enough is a bit... Um, sorry, sorry, one second. Just, uh, I'll be one second. Just not showing your ID and spending 21 hours in jail is a bit authoritarian, a bit fascist. So um, I, I, it left a bad taste in my mouth. I've been in Canada for 24 hours before I got arrested. But you know, now that I'm out and free and enjoying, you know, the the, the good atmosphere of the freedom-loving people, I'm I'm okay now. <laughs> awesome. Thanks very much. Thanks, Lawrence. Appreciate it. You too, man.